at this stage, I'm moving by now. Look at look at them. Look at look at them. Look at them. Look at them. And I'm not complaining. Look at us. 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 É como se o dia debiu, não vai ouvir, não ok, não ok, que aí não vai dar para me corrigir. Mas a, aí é que eu não vou corrigir. Aí é que eu não vou corrigir. But me bow, me bow. Chipsa, more patches. We share dignity. We buy any confidence. I said I do. Even now, was it a case that you overwhelmed by the the occasion? And thank you. No, I am not saying that. That's the question. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah. Not sure. Graham.
Yes, 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 So at this stage, no, I mean, this is that's why at this stage, I have bands in the way. Jojo Wasman, um, a a um, a shed supporter, still crying. Now, I feel at this stage, you know, somebody teach him, yeah, more banner, more than ever. What was it? What's in your mind? Oh, say, my content and Koji Captain Coffee in them, and I catch your HHO. That's our mentality. No fair play, no fair play. About a fair play, no, say, but one brand, ten, nine, one year, nine, ten. Also, you look at that. You went at the eye. I was a nineteen, a chassis. Ah, 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 no, we say they have that harassment cause. Can't come here from the team. And you see, girl, girl, don't forget, don't forget, sir. You see, we we had we had so many late when it comes to the you know the difficulties. You say you're late. Late, nah, most of them is cut off. Ah, match no, match no. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, and to him, Boma, because I'm asking, I think I'm a bubble. Never come to myself. If after the match, no, who said, 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 Okay. 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 And the Fobians absolutely confident of victory. Over the last three days, they have been in Okwase where they've been preparing for this match. They're in a buoyant mood, and the skipper of the side of Ankonrik did indicate that the trophy is theirs for taking. The manner and circumstances under which they equalized just indicates that they will definitely win the trophy. Well, Hendrix, before this match, had the other views, and he thinks that 2004 trophy is theirs for taking as a team, officials, and spectators to ensure that absolutely everything is intact. It's time to seek divine intervention, players of Asante Kotoko, asking the Almighty God for protection and for guidance. There is only one dream for the two sides. That is the Confederations Cup. The officials now march to the centre circle, and it's such a huge crowd at the Kumasi Sports Stadium. Most of them, as early as 6 a.m., were at the stadium, and the Kodoka fans tried what is known in footballing circles as the Mexican wave. So confident, so expectant, and they know that their boys will not let them down. It's such a noisy atmosphere. The Tunisian referee would have a word with the players. Hicham is the name of the central referee and he will be assisted on the lines by Taufik. All start Taufik and we have a young girl Tafika who I have it right. But these are the two assistants and Haicham is the man in the center of proceedings. Justice Yabwa, the 2003 SWAG referee of the year is going to be the fourth referee and the match commissioner is from the Republic of Togo. Zomako is the name. So the moment you've been waiting for is finally here. Is the finals of the Confederations Cup. And the combatants proudly, all from Ghana, Asante Kotoko the home side against glorious Atabok. 
Kotoko will be kicking off. Position by cap regulation is the match will start at exactly 3 p.m. So the referee trying to while away some time to ensure that the match kicks right on time, signals his assistant, everything is all right. And there goes the whistle for the commencement of the Confederations final. Asante Kotoka gives a crowd the book, and straight away is Kotoko who switch into action. And the first throwing coming the way of Asante Kotoko. That is an indication of their determination. The ball headed out of the danger area and Hart would calmly get out of trouble. And the second throwing coming the way of the Fobians. What expectations? There is certainly is it a match for the spineless. It's for the courageous, it's for the brave. $300,000 at stake for the winner. And with it goes a lot of pride, honor, and glory. And that is what these two teams are playing for. Oh! The throw is quickly taken. Then Ahidia trying to find Charles Taylor. Get him all right, it's Charles Taylor. And he wins a free kick. Charles is the talisman on the side, and it is said time and again that any time Charles Taylor clicks, the entire Kotoko team simply have no option but to follow obediently. Free kick to Kotoko in the very first minute of the game. And it's Charles Taylor who's been effective. one and the header it was that close against the side post so strong signals coming from Asante Kotoko the crowd respond with joy such an enthusiastic crowd suddenly for a moment was beating the side post was there to rescue the phobians and if the phobians needed any warning, surely that must have been it. And it's Kotoko again in possession. With a free kick. And it's quickly taken. They are in a hurry to get to the back of the net. They're going to try to get to the last third of the pitch. And Hart calmly to recover. Explosive start to this encounter, and again, kind of doing a lot of the attacking on the right side. Not this time, can't reach that. Michael Say was the one facing frighteningly on the right side of the attack. This time, the free kick goes the way of the Phobians. Harrison with a kick, the header not deep enough, and Tego, well that was quite feeble, there's Prince Tego in your shot, spotting the 24 shirt, but it's his favorite number. the referee's whistle going. 
way take to Hatabok. Under five minutes and it's zero zero from the Kumasi Sports Stadium. Had did a lovely attack, attacking on the right side of Defense at this time around, they commencing the attacks from there. In the first level, saw Montgomery Quinn Lawrence, and that's a very deep cross He's of target. This time around, we're seeing Montgomery Quinn again, and he's going to partner Bernard John Botte. So Bernard and Montgomery Quinn on the right side of the attack, George Joe's cake. Let's get going. Well, that's wonderful stoppage. And uh, Isa is right there with the free kick. Joe Hendricks behind the ball. Can't reach that ball. Michael Say pacing all over the pitch. Chasing every single loose ball. God for the boy, it's a man who consists a throw. Very strong tackling coming in. And has to their passes. from the Fobians, it's going to be a deep draws. And the tall kind of defenders play the lines. That's a good strike. And missing the target. Francis Bussman in our picture. He's got the ability to strike the ball from 25, 30 meters. And this is what we have to be looking out for. In my personal view, the Ansanki Rover side has the ability to pass effectively, can lay on intelligent passes and has the ability to score himself. In the build up to the finals, he's got three goals. And you underestimate him at your own peril. Has get going again. Well, Tony says the referee. Got for the Abois. Losing possession, but it regain it. And Isa with a huge clearance. Got a whole pounce on the ball. S quickly switch into attack. And Taylor with that effort. The referee gets it part of the way, and that is allowed. And to nobody in particular. Thank you very much, says. At Michael Harrison on the left side of the fence for the Corbians. Long balls. 
Hats are there to repulse the attack. It's Michael Asante, the midfield for the Republic boys. Taylor. And then I can deal with the cross. Oh, that's a good header. Stego has the ability to shield the ball effectively. And a double fist tackle. And it's going to be a free kick to Kotoko. You see Chips are in the 17th shirt behind the ball for Kotoko. Oswapia with the cross. And he's just wondering how from that distance he could miss it. Mike Lossay. The scorer of Kodokos goal in the first leg from that distance, missing the header. Oh, it's unbelievable. Such opportunities are not rampant in cup finals. Uh, it's important to exploit them. He was onside and surely could have put Kodoko in the lead. It's a huge opportunity blown away. to Hatabuk. I'm sure that Michael will be looking back to that opportunity and ruin that missed chance surely was totally unmarked was under no pressure and I thought with a little bit of calmness and composure he was going to do justice to that excellent delivery from Michael Oposwapia, first establishing himself as one of the best process of the ball in the country. Charles Taylor, the eight shirt for Kotoko. And Kotoko like hands about building most of the attacks from the right flank. Well there's a free kick. And it's a Fuswapia behind the ball. But Stephen O'Druk rather. Delivers brilliantly. Oh, good save from the goalkeeper Sani. Was quick off his back to clear the danger. It was timely and was so crucial. But it's got a call. Keeping a lot of the possession quickly, hard. Oh, loose possession. Eleven minutes of play, no scoring at the Kumasi Sports Stadium. It's Kotoko against Hart in the Confederations final. The first leg and then one one at the Cross Court Stadium. Next time around, the card is going to be flashed. Jones at Tukwefio edges his boys. He's the inspiration behind the side. Um, the man who won the best coach in Africa in the year 2000 when Hearts were so dominant on the continent and won the Africa Champions League as well as the Super Cup. Were rated at one stage eighth best team in the world. And this is the man who ensured 
all that success, Jones had to go a few on the bench. Kodoko, and it's an important strike, missing the target. You see Chipsa is the man who strikes the ball. Sani Mohamed doing so well to pick up the number one slot. The bench of Asante Kodoko, Hans Dieter Schmidt is the head coach. And Park receives his assistant, Joseph Kwa, the goalkeeper's trainer. And now he is in a hurry to restart the game. Steven O'Drew. He's got a lot of magic and some subtle touches. That's a good cross. And he set it out. Dunko. Fifteen minutes of play, zero to Asante Kotoko, zero to Accra Atopo, Michael Fuswapia, and Steven O'Drew combining on the right side. It's Steven's cross. The ball still in play, Michael Asai. And Hart confidently get out of trouble. Has got going, now we're going to see the first goal. Well, it's going to be a corner kick. Prince Tego was let loose, exploited his pace. And the final delivery, just bouncing off Isa. It's going to be a corner, well, goal kick, rather. For a moment, I thought Hart had deserved a corner kick. The ball rolling into over the baseline for a goal kick. And it's hard who will try to push the man into the territory of Kotoko. Jones would not sit on his bench. I have so much faith in this man. Imano Seku for the midfield general in possession at the moment. Shepherds the ball, trying to win a corner kick or a throw in. He succeeds in that bit. Akwahari Singh. It's going to do it long. That's dangerous. And Owu is there with a save. A member of the senior national team, the Black Stars. And for the Olympic team, he was the number one goalkeeper. That's going to be a free kick as a tackle from behind. Diego, the attack breaks down, and it's Kotoko. Chips up. Nana India. Good ball from Nana. And Taylor loses possession. The captain of the side was a very strong tackle, Hendricks. And it's Asante Kotoko. Odro with the strike here. And it poses no problems for Sani Mohammed. Stephen Odro is good at subtlety, the fishing and the ingenuity to cause lots of problems for any defense in Africa. Godfrey Diaboa, also a member of the senior national team, the Black Stars, in his sixth year for Asante Kodoko. The ball bouncing awkwardly. Michael's cross is stopped right there by Bosman. Kivelisa, the tackle against Prince Tego. Michael Pesuapia with a throw here for Kotoko. The 
Whistle going for another infringement in Colgo's favor. It's Charles Taylor behind the ball. Has the ability to strike so ferociously. Lifts it out to Steve Dodro. Steven does not come under par, but has the intelligence to kill the ball, and he does that. He tried to fool everybody, he tried to go for glory. Well, that was Michael Paswapia. Michael is wearing the number 30 jersey, and Steven Odro in the 12 shirt. Thought I was going to cross the ball into the penalty box. Sonny had taken a few steps off his mark and tried to fool everybody. Oh, that is brilliant. Sonny was clearly beating, but just missing the target. Reminds us of the last World Cup when Ronaldinho fooled David Seaman in post for England. Has considered a throw and cut a call. Charles Taylor quickly does that. Nana Hindia. Good clearance from Ajat Tete. And has quickly switched into attack. And that is a wasted effort. Well, something good comes out of that. It's going to be a corner kick, and it's the first for the Phobians. Indeed, the first of the game. Hats with a corner kick here. 20 minutes of play. And it's taken short. And uh, always there. That's a massive kick from the goalkeeper. Oh. Good play from Busman and Aqua Harrison in defense for the Phobians. First time Hans de Tashmid would be off his bench. The German coach for Asante Kotoko in his second season. Well, this is his first season, the second in Kumasi handled Kim Faisal last season. a couple of German coaches in the country. The Sofia try to calm the nerves a bit thirsty. We've done 22 minutes of action and already quite explosive. Harrison been playing quite well on the left side of the fence. Manolo Sekufo is not been that flamboyant, but surely remains the inspirer. Diego takes off. And what a timely header. That is how dangerous Prince Tego can be. Just a momentary loss of concentration. And Tego pops up from nowhere. Hands on the ball. And that excellent cross meant for Ben and John Botte. Headed out to over the baseline. It's going to be the second corner kick for the Phobians. Two corner kicks in the game. All coming the way of heart. And Ben and John Botte with his... Brilliant delivery was cleared by the Kodogo defense. It's 
So hearts, surely, not overawed by the reputation of Kodoko in Kumase. They've chopped some sweet successes at the Kumase Sports Stadium and surely are confident of playing at the venue. Hearts of Oak. The VIP. And I'm sure they're enjoying every moment of this. Lots of action in the game. Of course, you wouldn't say that clear cut chances have been created, but surely some threats and some strong signals have been sent out there. It's a Marisa's kick. Meant for Taylor. And that's for Sani. Sani's long delivery. Godfrey Yeboa on the left side. Lots of midfield action. A wonderful stoppage, Dan Quay. Good ball. The one two doesn't work out here. It was a bit like a daisical. And Kodoko trying to build from the through the middle. It's never going to work out. It's totally packed. And that's a good ball. Tego. Oh, Kodoko clear the lines. It's Joseph Henriks. Amarisa made a hash of it. And Joseph Henriks has the captain's band on. Well, it's a bit confusing here. Taylor was the man who served as the captain of the side, who went for the toes, and uh, represented Kodoko in all the early exchanges. But I can see Henrich just wearing the band. Oh, that's going to be a free kick. Clear push. So free kick coming the way of Asante Kodoko, almost 30 minutes of play. And interestingly, Kodoko have been earning free kicks at this side of the pitch. It's Stephen Ojo this time. Again, the danger is smothered. Sante Kodoko and the tendency to build through the middle, creating problems for the Bokban Warriors. And that part of the pitch is totally packed. The flag was up for offside and I here. Ricos, huge kick. George Owu, untroubled so far. Tackle from Emmanuel Wasekufo. The first yellow card of the afternoon is flashed 
to the midfield general. Good for you, boy. Respect the kick for Kotoko. Sante pops up and loses possession. The clearance from Akko Harrison. Amadisa looking for support here. And has fight gallantly in defense. Clear all the loose balls. Puswapia, back to Puswapia, and Sani does well to gain the upper hand here. The ball played through George Owu, who will be out of his post. Seku for the through ball. Oh, what stoppage. Always posing the danger, even on a Seku for. The ball was played through brilliantly. And Kotoko survived this turmoil. Out of work for the delivery and convincing clearance from the Kaloka defense. Chips are finds a swap here. Good header. That was from Donko. And it's Kotoko again. Trying to build through the middle. And Stephen Odro. Survives the tackle and wins a free kick. The assistant referee was right there to his rescue. That's in a very dangerous position. Again, the has defense survived the attack. And Sunny is there with the save. Sunny impeded the referee, blowing his whistle. And the Hearts player who headed the ball, the Odros free kick in some trouble. Dan Quay has spotted something he's not too happy about. And the medical team will stretch him off the pitch. It's 33 minutes. Uh, again, a section of the crowd. You can see TT. And the red representation is so massive. See the free kick, of course, the incident had already occurred. And Isa, well, Sani Mohammed, with that save. So hard to be playing 10 against 11 at this point. I 
particular for Swap Yard. Um, the passing has been suspect. The Swap Yard gate, where is that delivery? Not the best. I'm not too sure what he intended to do, but surely a cross would have been more effective. That's a huge kick up fells, and that's for Sunny Mohammed. George Owu, 10 more minutes to end the first half, still no scoring. And that's a good chance for Hearts of Oak. Excellent clearance from Isa. For a moment, the Kologo defense was breached. And still hard in possession. And John Bote finally loses possession after that long battle. And has regained possession. And Akwamiko is simply unstoppable. Francis Botsman. And it's a jar ride in midfield. Gabriel Amerisa with a clearance here. And Michael Osei has been very quiet on the day, as well as Luis Achiman. Atopo get going, Aseku for them as well, and George Owu had to stretch to his elastic limit to grab that ball. So Hart doing brilliantly in the last 10 minutes and creating lots of problems for the Kotoko defense. The three corner kicks of the match all coming the way of the Phobians. Mohammed. Brilliant one two from Kodoko with a free kick here. It's Mike Lasante quickly inside the full for Kotoko. That's a good cross. And Sani surviving the attack. The referee whistling. A couple of players in trouble. We'll soon find out in the picture, yes. That appears to be Nana Hindia. Justice Yabua in your picture, the fourth referee, uh, the SWAG best referee for 2003. The 
the section of the crowd. But we see the delivery again, brilliant delivery. And Sonny was right there. Well, it was a collision between Sonny and Ahindia. It's going to be a drop ball. And Steven, in the true spirit of sportsmanship, gives the ball back to Hart to restart the game. Harrison has seen a lot of the ball in this game. We have barely five minutes to and the first half and we yet to see the first goal of the match on aggregate is 1-1 that was how the first leg in Accra ended and it's hard to book Kotoko Stein good delivery Taylor right in the penalty box And again, it's unclear what his real intentions were, whether he tried to get to a colleague or tried to go for glory. Michael Asante, Stephen O'Drew, chips up, and Michael Lopesuapia in possession at the moment. Nana India is all right on the pitch. Are we going to see any goal before the end of the first half? That's going to be a good cross. Well, the ball still in play. And the ball getting over the baseline, Taylor struggling to find that electrifying form which made him the toast of the entire nation only some three seasons back Isa complaining to the referee of unfair tackling the free kick goes to, well, it, the advantage goes to Hearts. Just two and a half minutes to end the first half. Free kick coming the way of the Phobians. Manages to send in, but way off target. That was from Fra Francis Bosman who has the opportunity to convince the entire Phobian family that is an excellent replacement for the young Eric Nyako, who is on suspension following the accumulation of two yellow cards. Seiko for loses possession of Swapia. So Kotoko have an advantage here in the dying embers of the first half. Chiefs are joins the fray. As well as Michael Asante all joining the action. The corner kick delivered. And again, we've seen lots of poor free kicks from Steven Odro. And that is totally uncharacteristic. Steven struggling to find his form. On a good day, he delivers perfect set pieces. 
We've seen none of that today. Saying we're pro referee spot on infringement. Well, only one minute is going to be added. We haven't witness many stoppages uh, only one minute is going to be played chips are Sani Mohammed We've done 45 minutes so between the minute that has been added by the referee and none of the sides are unable to unlock the defense of the other. Well, the referee blows his whistle to end the first half. 0-0 zero, zero is the scoreline. And it's very difficult to pick between the two. It's still deadlocked. We saw a few opportunities coming the way of the two sides.